Towns Earl dies at 38, singer-songwriter and Steve Earle's son. Earl was born on January 4, 1982, to acclaimed musician Steve Earle and his third wife, Carol Ann Hunter. He was named after singer-songwriter Towns Van Zant. He grew up in Nashville, Tennessee, but dropped out of high school and began touring with his father and working with him for a while before pursuing his own music career. Earl traveled all over the U.S., settling in different cities for a short time before moving on. Although his career was cut short, it was prolific, as his website bio describes, between releasing four full-length critically acclaimed albums, constant touring, multiple stints in rehab, and newfound sobriety, being born Steve Earle's son, amicable and not-so-amicable breakups with record labels, and facing the trials and tribulations of everyday life, it's safe to say JT has quite the story to tell. Earl began his music career touring with his father or performing gigs around Nashville. When he was 14, he started a residency at Springwater Supper Club for a weekly set of seven hours. He said, I would play Mississippi John Hurt and Lightning Hopkins blues standards at Springwater. That was the goal. I wanted to be an acoustic blues guy. Earl released nine albums in total, with his latest coming out in May 2019, titled The Saint of Lost Causes. He received the Americana Music Awards twice, once in 2009, winning the Emerging Artist of the Year Award, and again in 2011 for Song of the Year for Harlem River Blues. Justin Towns Earl, a singer-songwriter and the son of musician Steve Earl, has died at the age of 38. His death was confirmed by a statement posted to his official Facebook page, although no cause of death was provided. The message reads, It is with tremendous sadness that we inform you of the passing of our son, husband, father and friend Justin. So many of you have relied on his music and